Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will see how to install Gemini AI into your Android Studio with a few prompts. Now, for a while we were talking about Studio Bot AI. Then where does this Gemini AI come from? So let me clear that for you. Studio Bot AI is renamed Gemini AI. The features and the functionalities are the same, only the name is changed. Now, the next thing is that StudioBot AI or Gemini AI was already available in the Canary versions of Android Studio. But this time, finally, it is available in the stable version of Android Studio. So to the ones who don't know what a Canary version is, let me explain. Canary Build is the leading edge version of Android Studio. It offers the latest features and bug fixes before they reach the stable version. It's essentially a preview built for developers who want to experience the newest functionalities. But understand that it might be less stable and may contain bugs. You can think of it as a testing ground for features that might eventually make it to the stable version after going through testing and feedback. Got it? Now, as I said, Gemini AI is available in the stable version, which is Android Studio Jellyfish 2023.3.1. It's the latest version of Android Studio available for everyone. I have mentioned the download link in the description box. Alright, now let's understand what exactly Gemini AI is. So you all are already aware of JetGPT AI, right? It's a chatbot by OpenAI that provides any kind of information using artificial intelligence. It can write an essay for you or even an entire code in any coding language. Not just that, it can also have a human-like conversation. Crazy, right? By looking at the hype of AI and chatbots, Google also launched its own AI chatbot known as Bard AI, which is also renamed Gemini AI. And that Gemini AI is integrated into the Android Studio. So you can ask any questions to the AI, but as it is integrated into the IDE, it is recommended to ask questions related to coding only. Now, what kind of questions or prompts? We will see that later. But first, let's see how to install it. Go to this website. Download the latest Android Studio, which is Android Studio Jellyfish. Follow all the instructions properly and install it. I have already installed it. So this is how it looks. The interface looks familiar only. But if you will carefully notice, then you can see two new icons here in the sidebar. This is Flutter DeepLinks, which is not supported because I have an old version of Flutter SDK installed that I need to update. But never mind, that's not our concern. Our focus should be here on this icon, Gemini. You can also access it from View, Tools window, Gemini. This is a free preview version. First, you need to authorize yourself, means Google sign in. I have already authorized myself. All you have to do is sign in with your Google account. Then the follow the instruction as shown. And done. That's it. Our Gemini AI is ready to use. Easy, right? Next, let's shoot some prompts and questions to the AI and see how it responds. First, let's ask the default question. It took a while to respond, but look at the answer. So precise and clear. Let's try another one. So I have written a prompt asking it to write a syntax on how to add an image in Jetpack Compose Kotlin and submit. Wow, look at the answer. We have syntax with an explanation. Amazing. Not just that, but we can also copy the code directly from here and paste it in the IDE. We can also insert the code directly wherever our cursor is present in the IDE. And we can also create a new Kotlin file with this code directly from here. Or you can explore it in the playground, means you can experiment with it separately. I'm already impressed. Now you don't have to back and forth from Google to Android Studio for your errors because you can find all your solutions here itself. Let's try another one. Java or Kotlin for Android? the most asked question. Look, even Gemini AI says Kotlin. Now next, let's see if it can create an entire app. Wow. 
The code is in Jetpack Compose code lead. Let me copy paste it and see if the app runs or not. Well, there were few changes that I needed to make on my own and also it requires higher API. Otherwise, this is how it looks. See, it's an AI, so you cannot completely depend upon it. Even the Gemini AI itself says that the responses may contain inaccurate or offensive information that does not represent Google's view. Please use code with caution. Next, I want to show you the best use of it. The error solving. Simply, you can go to logcat. Copy the error sentence and paste it here, like maybe null pointer exception and submit. Look, it will provide you with the generalized solutions. If it works for you, great. Otherwise, we have a stack overflow. Next, you can convert your XML code to Jetpack Compose code or you can convert your Java code to Kotlin code or vice versa. Isn't that great? Last thing, let's say if it provides code other than Android. Yes, it does. Alright, I think we have covered all kinds of formats. I'm just curious to see if it can answer questions not related to coding. Like, which kind of brand is the best? Okay, it does give us a generalized answer. Great. But again, as I said, it is not recommended. Keep your Gemini AI tech friendly. We will be using Gemini AI in our upcoming project. So stay tuned for that. Okay? For now, that is it for the video. If you are new to this channel, then please consider subscribing to my channel and I will see you in the next video.